Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Finland's Gorphelia Severed Monolith. Extremely Rotten Productions cassette version. Rest in peace, Henry. And we also have a new Gorphelia release in the works. I'm not sure who they have on vocals, but I am very much looking forward to it. I do miss talking to Henry about chilling when Gorophilia was going to come to the States the next time. And, you know, we kind of had plans to meet up and hang out, I guess. I'm not really sure, but Henry was a good guy and, you know, rest in peace. Suicide sucks, folks. So, if you have any friends out there that are a little bummed out right now about the current state of the world, check in on them for real like it doesn't hurt to call somebody or even text them and be like yo how is everything is everything cool you all right like you need anything don't be a selfish person during times like this it doesn't help anyone but today i want to go over something that i get asked all the fucking time and that is What's going on with your battle vest? And I've made like three videos about this. But it's getting to this time where, you know, I wear this regardless if there's a show or not. I normally wear it without a shirt because I'm a fucking savage like that. But it's kind of getting time to start replacing certain patches and maybe even replacing the Covenant back patch which is obviously a big deal that's the centerpiece of the entire work like you want that centerpiece to be a band that you love to death in my case it's a band I like I, I have a Leviathan patch that is covered up by this patch and this patch is Almost 20 years old. And that is Helga's Head Repulsion. But like, part of me does not want to change that. And I kind of want to get one of those leather cuts that, if you watch like Sons of Anarchy, you know what I'm talking about. But if not, and you know anything about motorcycle clubs or gangs, like a motorcycle club vest, like, they're made of... I don't want a real leather one, obviously. I want pleather. You should never kill animals for your clothing. So I want, like, a pleather vest. And from there, I want to be able to kind of make a fresh battle vest. And that's just because I kind of feel this is heavy and it's kind of bunched up. And then there's certain pins that are just annoying. Like they look super sick, but somebody cut some corners and instead of putting like two of these, you just have one and no matter what, you know, it spins and it just, it gets annoying. Where you have maggot stomp pins that are the fucking shit. They don't mess around. It's always double pinned up and yeah, it's good shit, trust me. Anytime you see that Maggot Stomp is, you know, releasing pins, get on that shit if it's a band you fucking like. Or if they're just doing some for a band, grab one on tour. Like, they had these fetid ones that were so sick looking, but I didn't have the money to grab one. Like, I have a Mortiferum one on my one beanie, and it's just such a sick fucking pin. But there's a bunch. This one, a Larry. Blood Incantation Star Spawn. It's so well detailed. I, I fucking love it. And then there's the Abducted at Birth Glow in the Dark Cannibal Corpse mock up pin. They got a cease and desist for using the actual Butchered at Birth baby. So they made it an alien, which I think is way fucking cooler anyway. 
And that's actually next to a Mortiferum pin as well. Very, very well done. But this shit, it starts getting heavy. And that's what I mean. I kind of need to start either lightening that vest up or just starting anew whenever I can get fucking the proper amount of money. But I'm going to go over if I was to start a new patch. If I was to start a new back patch today, fuck my life. If I was to start a new vest today, here's what I would put on it. Main back patch. Yeah. Impure Satan's Eclipse. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I listened to this record and damned fucking religiously pretty much for lack of a better word I love this fucking album and I have the smaller patch on my vest already which is kind of why I want to start a fresh one and use this as the main back patch because it's fucking amazing and it was a gift from Salpson so fucking hails uh, I love that back patch but we have a lot to go over. And one of these is going to end up on a baseball cap. And this is probably going to be that hat though. That patch that's going to go on the hat. I don't have a good example in front of me. But like, like I would never get rid of this hat. This hat is old as fuck. It's been through it. But I'm just for an example. Like obviously this wouldn't work because... The piece too big and the material is way too thick. You want to get one of those dad hats with like the fucking belt buckle on the back. But I would love to sew that Hyperdontia patch like on the front of a baseball hat and save myself like 25 fucking dollars. But I love that patch again like it's fucking sick and it would be great on a hat. Next up, I love this Nuclear War Now fucking logo, and thank you, YK. Pretty sure Roke did this, or Rock. I always forget how he pronounces his name, but fucking sick as hell. That looks so goddamn cool. But that will go somewhere on the vest. And I always kind of felt weird about having two separate record labels on the vest, but if they're on two separate sides, it doesn't matter. But this Dark Descent patch is so fucking badass. Like, as a Conan the Barbarian fan especially, because you have Thulsa Doom's logo, so technically you can use it for two different things. But I love that fucking design I always have. Hails to Matt at Dark Descent Records. Next up, this is a filthy one, but Last Days of Humanity. Some gore from the Netherlands. That's going somewhere on that vest, and it's gonna be nasty. Because alongside that, we're gonna have an Impentago patch as well. This cassette has already been pre-ordered. I cannot wait. It looks like they're using alternative artwork for the cassette, but... Yeah, fucking sick, sick shit. I was actually watching Cannibal Ferox earlier last night, and that scene is definitely in that film. Sick shit. And yeah, this is just gnarly looking. Then we have this pugnant stench patch, which I, it's again filthy. Pretty much this whole vest is not suitable for work, but it's going to be fucking awesome. I love this patch a lot. This one too, just based off the color, like, I think this fluids patch, it just looks sick as fuck. Like, I might even put this on my, uh, brown shorts. I just think it would look cool. So, yeah. Fluids. And we have two more. This is another badass one. Cemetery Urn. Fuck yeah. Look at that thing. It's barbaric as fuck. And lastly, again, this could be used for a baseball hat, a beanie, 
anything. Really, really well done patch, but Wundagang, fucking A. But pretty much, that's what I would use if I was to make a fresh back. A fresh battle vest. Slash battle jacket. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's what I would use if I was to start from scratch or update this one. Because this definitely needs to be updated. There's like a tomb mold patch still. I don't really fuck with tomb mold like I used to. And then there's like some filler shit. But it's not really filler shit. It's just I didn't do a good job of actually putting it on. Like this master pin patch and this morbid angel patch. I kind of did it sloppy. Everything else is fucking sick, and I kind of like it, but like I said, it's gaining weight with the more pins I put on it, so it's about time to switch things up and get a new battle vest. So, if I do get one, and you are actually curious for some reason of what's going on it, it's mostly going to be this. So... Hopefully that gives you an idea and if you've never heard of any of these bands definitely check them out and Congratulations to the boys in Necrot for being on the cover of the new decibel and also getting Anatomia, Faceless Burial, and Bolt Thrower on the cover Fuck yeah to Chad, Luca, and Sonny. They have an amazing amazing interview in here it's worth picking up. Like, seriously, I would grab the new decibel just for this Necrot interview. It's great. And, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. We were blasting Finland's Gorphelia, Severed Monolith, cassette version on Extremely Rotten Productions. And that is going to be my Battle Vest update. So, as always, thanks for watching. Hurts.